Whenever we are at school next, whether it be Monday or Tuesday, you are having your quiz. Eight snow days and counting. And use the extra days to be productive. Can take a toll on students and teachers. It's very hard for us to get in a groove sometimes, you know, especially when we're in the middle of a unit. And if we were starting here and going here. Shelby Burkett teaches seventh grade math here at Discovery Middle School in Liberty. When we have those breaks, sometimes when we come back from the breaks, they're like, how do we do this again? And so um, that's been that's been a challenge. Yeah, I forgot about that. This is her first year teaching in Liberty after moving from Lubbock, Texas. Definitely a surprise. Um, we did have snow in Texas, but definitely not this much. She says as a teacher, it's hard to plan with so many interruptions. When I'm trying to lesson plan, I try to, you know, fill out my calendar at least a week or two in advance, and I've definitely been having to make a lot of shifts. She and other teachers worry just how long they may be in the classroom to make it all up. You hear a lot of concern of, well, this is just pushing us further and further in May, and um, the longer we have to go, and then there's a concern of, will we be here in June? But for now, we're making the best of it, doing the best that we can. The district said if they do have a snow day on Monday that the kids are going to have to make up that day on March 15th. Um, so they said they're not going to be cutting into spring break. March 15th students were scheduled to be off for parent teacher conferences.